Pete here to do it. Because if he turns into sopping jelly, then you'll have my back. Anyway, I wouldn't be in this mess if it wasn't for David. Um, I was trying to help. He just looked so... hopeful. And I didn't have the heart, you know, with this whole family dying and all. Why don't you just hang fire, yeah? I mean, you've had the spark before. You can get it back. Trust me, Tracy, I've tried. Nothing there anymore. No hordes of kiddies, yeah? Well, won't be long. Oh. Yeah, we'll make sure the queue in an orderly fashion. You've already taken over half my shop. And your till will feel the benefit. Uh, no dogs. That wasn't part of the deal. Not a dog. Reindeer. She's in character. I love grottos. I wish we could have done one again this year, but time is our enemy. You have to redo a big order. Uh, you wouldn't have a vacancy for an elf, perchance? Oh, no, that's Tracy. Sorry. Oh, so the smelly dog gets the roll and, and there's no room for me. She's not smelly. Right, focus. Tip. The magic of Christmas is on you. Don't let me down. Mm. <coughs> oh, come on. <laughs> so, you're going to break it to Pete, then? Yep. As soon as he gets it, I... I just feel so bad hurting him with everything that's happened, but... He's not my future anymore. What do you want? You really should go into hospitality. You've got a definite gift. Look, he's just come back from work. He's knackered. Yeah, well, I'm not stopping. Don't panic. You all right? Yeah. Um, you left this in the porter cabin. Thought it might be important. It's just a lucky bill. Yeah, well, this way. It doesn't end up under a pile of car parts. Oi! Are you going to move or what? I can't see telly. Do you want a beer? Yeah. Why have you said that? I was trying to get rid of him. Now he's going to start chatting. Yeah, right, calm down and only throw your shoes at me. It's an accident waiting to happen, isn't it? Slippy socks. Reckon I need a doctor, don't you? The Alex Borky. Aaron's one... totally into him. He's just fobbed me off with some lame excuse. Bad time or whatever. But for giving a reason to meet. Over your broken body. Because that's romantic. Ow! <coughs> Cliff? Ow! Are you alright? I've done that. Those stairs are lethal. Can you wiggle your toes? I I've got this. Go on, you go. You all right? Where's the pain? Just... You can't stay in the B&B forever, Mum. Well, she can, actually, seeing as Eric isn't charging her a penny. Eric? Who never gives freebies? He does now. Really is the most generous man. Oh, that's in the mush. We're talking about Zach and Lisa. There's nothing to talk about. He knows where I am. It's crazy, Lisa. You're the one that keeps that home running. Oh, Zach's just being a stubborn fool. You know what he's like. It'll blow over. Yes, thanks, Faith. I don't need my ex-husband explaining to me. He is being a hypocrite. You were bang on with the whole journey thing. Trust me, this will be the wake-up call he needs. Are you ladies close to finishing? Only I promised April she'd be first in the grotto. Word on the playground is they've got a reindeer. <laughs> oh. Now you've both calmed down, you can go see him, Mum. Please. Right. I will. I'll go and give him a chance to say sorry. There's no swelling. You'll live. It really is, though. Try and put some weight on it. You're trying to kill me. All right. Look, if you don't call an ambulance, you need a doctor. Now. Do we know any? Oh, yeah. Doctor... Doctor, what's his name? Tall, buff, definitely works out. Jerry. Mason. Oh, sexy Alex, as he likes to be known. Not that I'd go there, I'm strictly at Tro. You've never even met him, so... Not live in the flesh, but Liv's shown me about a million photos of him. So you're faking it? No, I'm not faking it. <sighs> Won't be wanting these, then, will you? No, get off! So you are faking it. Liv, how many times do you want me to tell you? My life is my life. I don't need you meddling in it. But you do, though. I might go back to Robert. I won't go... Why would you even think that? He's round here all the time. He's forgot his phone, he's out of yoghurt. Yeah, we we'll just make... He doesn't even like yoghurt. What about Alex? If you don't get in there quick, then someone else will. I'm not interested, Liv. You need to quit this right now, otherwise me and you are going to fall out. Here. You are such an idiot. You're making it so obvious. Chill. I've got this. I can text sexy Alex herself. Yeah, it's all right for her with her built-in fridges and 
soft closed bog seats, but what about us, eh? <laughs> Who are you talking to? No one. I was just explaining to Alfie about your new uh, posh estate. <laughs> it's not mine, Zach. I just paid a visit so that we could discuss it. You got sucked in by the patter. They saw you coming. It's a house sack with drawers that fit and plugs that work. You weren't that fussed when Joni asked you to do it. Oh, not that again. I was excommunicated. Didn't have an option, did I? Apart from not leaving me in the first place. Oh, please. No, I didn't come here to row. I come to make you see sense. We can't have one rule for you and another for me. How do you mean, woman? I came home, didn't I? For us. Not for the saggy sofas and the raggedy blankets. Well, of course, for us. So why is the house more important now? Well, don't you turn this on to me. It's you who's the traitor. I just want to stop you being so pig-headed. We will. No backbone. I'm disappointed in you. Well, I'm disappointed in you. I don't know why I bother. You can rot here. You can rot here till they bulldoze you out. Santa, at your post, we have customers. Sorry, what are you supposed to be? A Christmas pudding. Just an old thing I had lying about in the loft. I couldn't resist. Oh, wow. Very festive, Rishi. <laughs> it's Mr. Figgy. Is that the blueberry suit? It might be. <laughs> Sorry, Johnny. Ladies first. Ho, ho, ho! What's your name, little girl? It's OK. I know you're not the real Santa. He's busy with his house in Lapland. OK, so we can cut the patter and get straight to the prezzies. Tell Rudolph what you want. Rudolph? Yeah. That reindeer is a dog. Do you think I should tell him? <laughs> well, a bit long in the tooth for Santa. <laughs> uh, this way, mate. Oh, you didn't have to. Yeah, well, Finn always said that. Uh, I don't speak louder than words. Love Finn. I think I've... Uh... I think I've left the label in. Oh, is it a new shirt? It's, uh, it's, it's stunning. Thanks, do you mind then? No, no, no. <sighs> £65? It's not even a sale item. Of course. More expenses spared. What are you offering for? We stick them somewhere and get us the wine list. Another house. It won't be the same. Well, I know that. Try to tell Alicia. And it's important for Samson to be where his, his mum was, where she spent her last days. Yeah, well, tell the lad not to worry, because we're not going anywhere. Hiya. What's the tally now? Hiya. Is there even going to be a nativity? 14 kids sick, two days left, and Daphne is directing in a surgical mask because of the germs. It's actually quite disturbing. And has Leo been asked to step in? Um... No. Matilda, however... Daphne's daughter. ..has three extra parts. She's Mary, right? Uh, plus narrator, plus snowflake, plus stable door. I mean, Leo could easily have stepped up. He's only in two scenes. I think he's quite happy being a sheep. Because Daphne's not showing any faith in him at all. It's unkind, it's unfair, and it is... it's giving out a really bad message. But you're the assistant director, aren't you? Surely you can she just... Suggest... listen to me, so I've gone straight to the job. I've texted Jesse. Hi, hello. Did Mum find you, and is she coming home? Well, only it's not home, is it? If she can't wait to get rid. Right, so you haven't made up, then? She started it going behind my back, eh? Talking to the enemy. Dad, this is exactly what the Council want, us fighting each other and not fighting them. I'm not fighting her, love. I wouldn't waste my energy. <sighs> One at a time. Ow! I'm a figgy pudding, not a football! So you can stop kicking me now. I'm sure I'd die or more. Mm, no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm up picking. Oh, it's like you haven't eaten for a week. <clears throat> um, can I crash for a sec? Oh, yeah, join us, yeah. Mm. We have had two inquiries about the Greek wedding package. We don't do a Greek wedding package. We did one wedding, which was brilliant, and then we agreed never again. Yeah, but that was just because of logistics. But say if we had another branch in Mykonos... In Mykonos? Yep. We just need a shop front and some staff. I feel a mulled wine coming on. 
All these ho ho hos making me parched. Speak later. Okay, here we are for your main course. We have artisan bread and a Christmas tureen. Lovely. Thank you. Pete. I'll miss you, Layla. I, I didn't realise how much until you came by the house. But you saw the state I was in. But you turned me around just by being there, caring. Pete, hey. But you made everything better. I was such an idiot losing you. Oh, babe. Well, at least you tried. I mean, you worked so much, you didn't feel the same way. And if David had been so useless, he could have avoided all this. Oh, at least we're all cleared up now. David, how, how do you mean? Thank you, Tracy. Your big gob strikes again. She said you were going to tell him. Yes, I was just building up to it. Right, I've calmed down. I'm glad to hear it. I got your text about meeting that said I should wait for you. We're really going to do this? All right, um, Aaron didn't send the text. I did. But don't pretend you're not pleased about it. I mean, you stalk each other's Facebook enough. Right, uh, OK. I'm sorry, this had nothing to do with me, obviously. She nicked my phone. So you've been analysing my social networks because... Big bro thinks you're up? No, because I can't get a relationship without her, apparently. And I've already warned her to back off. And I used to want a kid, sister. <laughs> no, trust me, you don't. I wish I never found this one. All right, you don't want to be happy. Fine, be alone, be miserable. Liv, I'm not even joking, please just shut up. OK, I should go. This has been weird, but interesting. <laughs> oh, but I was going to ask you what lady consultants wear under the scrubs. Oh, my. Just escape while you can. I'm sorry you got dragged into this. It's no problem. It's not like I just worked for 18 hours straight. What? What are you doing here, then? I wanted to see you. So you didn't want to go on a date with me? Come on, Layla. Everyone else seems to know. No. All right, I, I didn't. Then why didn't you tell me? But why would you make me look a complete idiot? That was never the plan, mate, honestly. Oh, so there was a plan? What, did you tell him to bin me off, did you? Yeah. I was just talking about me and you, OK? Then he went and stuck his oar in. I was just trying to help. Look, we know you're vulnerable at the moment, mate, oh. so... Right, so you feel sorry for me? Well, if I thought that there was any chance for me and you after everything that has happened, then I would try, all right? Believe me. Don't force yourself. Don't be like that, mate. She's just trying to spare your feelings. Will you stop speaking for her? Well, you don't need to worry. I'm not going to do anything stupid. Cos you're not that special. Do you mind keeping it down? We're trying to deal with a major beard phobia in here. Right. Look, it's just been one big misunderstanding. No hard feelings. I'm talking to Layla, not to you, so why do you keep butting in? It's all right, David. She's a big girl. Let's just leave him to it. Oh, do you know what? I'm out of here. Seems I'm such a massive oh, problem. Oh. Oi! You can't do that. There are children present. Fine. Don't worry about it. Just got a short fuse. Must run in the family. What did you say? Easy, mate. Oh. Oh. Sorry, mate. I just lost it. I shut up early before we had any complaints. I think I distracted the children with my rendition of Jingle Bells. Does he need an ambulance? David, are you feeling dizzy? Uh, Look, can you can you follow me finger? Um, I've got this, Lola, thank you. David, follow my finger, not hers. I'm fine. Yeah, and you can clear off. We'll let you know about pressing charges. Oh, uh, well, you will not be calling the police. Why would you say that? Well, thanks, mate. Look, I'm really sorry again. And you, Lola? You've caused enough trouble. Oh, but she hasn't done anything. Um, yes, she has. If she hadn't guilted you into doing a dirty work... That was all off my own back. I take full responsibility. Why do you keep defending her? What's wrong with her? Tracy's right. I've messed everything up and I'm... I'm a coward and I'm sorry. Thank you for responding so quickly, Jesse. No, as long as there's a gin and tonic in it, I'm happy. So, this is about the nativity. 
Oh, Leo's not got the lurgy as well, has he? Oh, that's just ketchup face. <laughs> I'm a vet, trust me. He's as fit as anything and more than capable of filling one of those vacant parts. So suggest it to Daphne. You are her assistant. She won't accept any input, which is why I've come to you. Uh, if I may, it's obviously a very fraught situation. I'm sure Daphne's... Daphne a... is a nepotistic control freak. No, no. We just feel that Leo's skills could be used better. I've got this. Thank you, Paddy. And I am done with making problems seem less than they are. Leo is my son, and it is my job to stop him being overlooked. You go for it, girl. So, please, could he be the innkeeper? You know, I will run through the moves with him. He could even wear Marlon's apron. Well, actually, I wear white, not an apron. I mean... It's not fair that he is punished just because he's different. Leo, remember when we were picking parts for the play and everyone had to choose what they wanted? What did you pick? Was it a camel or was it a sheep? Yes, right. <laughs> a sheep is fine, OK. Um, but name me a famous sheep. Hmm? Or a sheep icon of literature. It is impossible because it is not a proper part. Show the sheep. Oh! OK, OK. If it's that important, I'll tackle Daphne. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We will not let you down. Not bad, considering the venue issues. Mm. <laughs> uh, you can take the pudding outfit off now, Rishi. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? This is like a second skin now. <laughs> How did you do? Tip! Fine. Never any trouble for me. Jay's here. <sighs> ah! <sighs> Seems like you've left us a present. Oh, uh, what? Oh, that is vile. Ah, has she no control over her bodily functions? None whatsoever. Oh, whoa! OK, who's got some rotten? Oh! It's a good job David soaked off to the pub because he'd go totally ballistic at that. It was the pressure of playing Rudolph. You know, she just forgot her potty training, that's all. Right. Well, who's got a poo bag? Get it out, now! Yeah, your shift, mate. Enjoy. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed. Always happy to help with discipline. You know me. I'm not doing the gents. That's why Jerry's here. And what's in it for me if the new bends are sparkling, eh? Mm. Aaron doesn't chuck you out for nicking his phone. Go on, then. Why today? What's happened? Bother. Oh, my... I keep saying that I'm not going back there, but I'm wasting my breath. Understandable confusion, I reckon. What? Well, if you're over Robert, you'd go out with this doctor. Simple. Except it's not. Why? What's wrong with him? Give me three good reasons and I'll leave you alone. <sighs> I don't have to answer to you. That's because you know I'm right. If Robert is truly out of your system, then prove it. Hey. What are you doing here? Well, Tracy's in a strop and uh, I just wanted to check you were okay. You must hate me. That date was my doing. Stop blaming yourself. Ooh, looks painful. I've heard the whole sorry tale. But, um, well, maybe you're a bit too involved. No, not you at all. Oh, look at you now. Nose full of bog roll and you're still fussing over Layla. Yeah, she's my mate. And you've done enough. Go and make it up with Tracy, yeah? I'm sorry everyone's having a go at you and that you've fallen out with Tracy and that your lovely nose is a big, fat, ugly blob. So what's happened with Dad? You've not exactly tried very hard. Well, there's no point. He's even more clothy than usual. Zach's very set in his ways. He likes his pigs and his muck and his antique appliances. Vintage. Yes, thank you, Faith. I don't want to leave home, Mum. Neither do I. But I just think we should examine all the options, like sensible adults. You're hoping. Just make him, please. Right, then, spread the word. Family meeting tomorrow for all the Dingles that have ever lived in the house. I'm just rubbish at relationships. 
That's not true. It is. If he really thought I was a keeper, he wouldn't have looked elsewhere. And Jay never respected me. I was just ditzy lately with bobbins for brains. Well, they're wrong. Hey, we had a good relationship. Well, until you did a runner. <laughs> but that was about Jake, it wasn't about us. <laughs> you were good for me, David. <laughs> you know, I think that's the real reason why I've never been able to settle for anyone else, because they'd always be second best. What? You're one off, you know that. You're a beautiful, kind, Amazing man. <laughs> OK, that's enough. David, I love you. How much have you had? No, it's not the drink, yes, all right? It is. I can't help how I feel, can I? David? You never said that, right? Next, tonight in Coronation Street, Sarah receives some devastating news. And the drama continues later at 8.30. Coming up in half an hour, the Martin Lewis Money Show has tips on saving cash on your energy bills this winter. And we're off to Australia for Toff's Bush Tucker trial as the race to become king or queen heats up with another vote off. In I'm a Celebrity with Anton Deck at 9.